Hello. In this video, we will see how to send TradingView alerts to a Discord server channel. Let's start. First of all, you will need a Discord account. For that, visit this website and open a free Discord account. When you open the Discord in a browser, you will see a home page like this. Click this Add a Server button. Here, click the Create My Own button. Select an appropriate option. I'm going to select, for me and my friends option. Give some name to the server. Now the server is ready. You can see two default channels created on our server. One is a voice channel. And one is a text channel. We will need this text channel. Click this edit channel button. On this next page, click this integrations button. Click the create webhook button. Now a web hook is ready, and its name is SpideyBot. Click it. Just by clicking this copy webhook URL button, we can have our own webhook URL. Copy and paste this somewhere, we will need this later. Our job on the Discord server is over. Now let's see how to design an alert message for the Discord. Discord alerts need the alert message to be written in a specific JSON format. Let's see what's that. Google Discord JSON. And click this GitHub page link. Here, you will learn how to design an alert message in a JSON format that the Discord server understands. Here you can see various attributes for an alert message, like username, avatar URL, content, color, title, description, etc. Let's see some of the important attributes. Let's start with the title. Click the title section here. This is how we need to write a JSON message in our alerts. And this is how the alert will look like with a title on the Discord. Now click the description section here. This is how we need to write a JSON message in our alerts. And this is how the alert will look like with a description on the Discord. So go on and read all of these attributes and see how they want us to write a JSON message in our alerts. And what would the alert may look like? But, there is one catch. The Pine script code does not allow writing the alert message in a JSON format as it is. The Pine script code requires the alert message in a string format. So first, we have to convert these messages in JSON format to string format. For that, Google JSON to string online. Click any of these websites. I will choose the first one. Here we have to paste the JSON message. Then we have to click the convert button. The JSON message will be converted to string format. And will be shown here in this panel. Then we can copy and paste and use it in our Pine script code. Let's try it. I have copied and pasted the title JSON message in this panel. Then, when I clicked the convert button, this website converted the message into the string format. Now I can just use this message in my Pine script code as it is. Okay. Now let's get on with the Pine script indicator. I will explain what I have done here. This is the indicator function with the name, send alerts to Discord. I have already created various JSON alert messages and written them here in various variables. So that I can test and show you various attributes individually. For example, here I have written the alert message having a title. Here I have written the alert message having a title and a color for the message body. Here I have written the alert message having a title, color, and username. And so on. At the end, I used an alert function. This alert function would be fired at the close of every new latest candle. In the message attribute of this alert function, I will pass the alert messages that I have written above, one by one. And see various attributes displayed in the alerts on the Discord. Let's see them one by one. Right now, I have used the alert message with only the title. Now I will set up the alert manually on the trading view. I have added the indicator to the chart. Right now, I'm on the Bitcoin 1 minute chart. To set up the alerts, hover the computer mouse on the indicator name. Then, click this more button. Select add alert on, send alerts on the Discord option. Send alerts on Discord is the name of our indicator. Your indicator name might be different. Now, here, select the indicator name. Here, select any alert function call option. 
select the expiry date of the alert and give some name for the alert. Now, click the notification section. Go to the webhook option. Paste the webhook URL that we had generated in the Discord server. Select other options like show pop-up, send email, etc. if you want. And click create. Now our alert has been set up. When this current candle closes, we shall get an alert on our Discord channel. Let's wait. As you can see, an alert has appeared on the trading view. Let's see on our Discord channel. Yes. So our first alert is successful, with a title, IT Walla in it. The name of our webhook is also mentioned here, SpideyBot. Now, let's remove this alert, and set another one. Let's use this alert with color. I will remove this content title variable from the alert function, and, write a content color variable. The number written in this message is the blue color. The colors need to be in number format. You can Google and find out which number is for which color. Google colors in decimal format for this. I will now save this code. Then, I will set up the alert again, as shown before, and wait for an alert. As you can see, a new alert has appeared. Let's check on the Discord channel. Great! Now our alert message has a blue colored line on the side. Now I will use the alert message with a username. I will again remove the existing alert and, set up the new alert and wait for it. So, a new alert has arrived in our channel, and this time the name here is changed. Earlier we had our webhook name displayed here called, SpideyBot. But now, a username specified by me, called Boss, is displayed here. Let's see the next attribute. Now I will use the avatar URL attribute. I have specified the URL of an image in this alert message. As you can see, a new alert has appeared, and this time, with a new avatar image. I provided the image URL of my YouTube profile pic, and that was displayed here. Now, I will use the content attribute. Let's see what happens. So a new alert has appeared. And this is where the content is displayed. Beware that, while converting the JSON message to string format, the spaces between the words get removed. So you can see that, the original words, read manual, are shown without any space in between. Keep this point in mind while converting a message from JSON to string format. You have to manually write a space between the words after JSON conversion. Now, I will use the content URL attribute. Here I have mentioned the Google web page URL ahead in the message. Let's see what happens. So a new alert has appeared. If I click this message, I will be directed toward the Google website, because, I had mentioned the Google URL in the content. Now let's see the description attribute. This is what the description looks like in our alert. Now let's see the footer attribute. This is where the footer looks like in our alert. I hope you have understood how to write, design, set, and send the alerts from TradingView to Discord. Thanks for watching.